Ladies and gentlemen, they are appearing every day. We're checking out Secure Team 10. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's check it out, man. Let's see. Like the video if you know about Secure Team. I'm really glad he's back, though. He took a break of two years. Hey, what's up, guys? One Tyler point. here with Secure Team, and happy 2023. Hope you all had a safe holiday. And so I'm not going to talk your leg off today. What we are going to do, though, is jump right in to, in my opinion, some of the most intriguing UFO footage, much of which was submitted to me by viewers, by you guys, and what I think are some very anomalous clips to start out the new year with. Yes, sir. Let's get it. This Let's first check it out. piece of UFO footage, when I watched it after I received an email, my jaw almost hit the floor. And there wasn't a lot of information on this in the email anyway, but that a female with friends, I don't know if it's at a party or what, began recording after several bright lights appeared and began almost hovering right over top of the recorder of the video. Oh, and to me, it looks like a oh, massive. Shit. Uh, sort of triangular TR-3B style craft. And before we go for, for context, the TR-3B is essentially like the triangle shape uh, UFOs. Further, here it is. Ow! Let's check it out, bros. Look at that. Pow, son. Pow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what guys. <laughs> Damn, son. It's moving? It is what moving. What is that? It seems like it has multiple lights, and that's like a bigger what light. The f thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Okay, so Bro. yo, pull the camera, pull the camera, keep the camera. It has a red light kind of in the middle. Honestly, it's a UFO. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, oh my gosh! Right there. Bruh. Bruh. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Uh, okay, on yo, let's pump the brakes really quickly, right? It seems very much like like a doesn't look like a UFO though. I don't know, man. It's bizarre, I agree. It can be a UFO, I agree, but it just doesn't look like it because of that light. I've never seen a UFO video with a light similar to a light that I have seen on this planet already, right? Because that light just looks like a light from the chopper, from a helicopter, right? It just seems very much Earth-like. So, I don't know, thoughts? Bro. Bro. Oh okay, Bro. so, like I said, wanted to feature this first and you know i'm not sure how long this has been out i don't know the location of it um but what i will say is that if this is a hoax or a fake or someone trying to mess with me as people have throughout the years they try to send me you know cgi footage uh, just yep. to see if i will bite um many viewers have done it you know just to try to i guess help me hone my skills and typically right away you know know whether something is real or not and this does not look like cgi to me um the, the way it passes behind the trees Stop here the, the buildings oh, shit, uh, the oh, leaves shit. on the trees a lot of things obfuscating this brightly lit yeah uh, when i when i uh think about our ufo i'm thinking it would be like this at least the tr3b or whatever you call this this triangle shape ufo with uh with like red lights but that but that bright light in the middle that was just way too different looks completely Earth-like, so that's why I'm like, mm, I don't know about this one, but it, it is definitely suspect though. I don't know what, but it doesn't look like a plane. It seems to be dead silent. Uh, the reaction of the female is, in my opinion, again, genuine. You know, to me, it is oh a gosh. genuine reaction of someone oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. who's yeah, recording seems genuine, something though. and seeing this thing as it shines a bright spotlight down on her. And immediately when I saw it, I thought TR-3B Black Manta, which for many of you, I won't have to explain what the TR-3B yeah. is. But for and another thing, uh, and this is something I wanted to bring before, uh, but I somehow forgot about it. So I'm going to bring it now with visually on top. 
it's uh, there are a lot of theories and I believe conspiracies as well that suggest that the, the US has already made their own version of it so they sometimes fly it around and if you see it you might mistake mistake it for uh like a real ufo but they are per basically using their reverse they, they are reverse what's the word uh, and, and, and apparently the government the u.s government also did claim not long ago when they confirmed that ufos are real they also did say that they have acquired vehicles that did not originate on this planet so they have unearthly vehicles they did say that you can look it up you can search unearthly vehicles pentagon with keywords like that and you're gonna find articles on it so this is something they said that they have acquired un of vehicles from other that that are not on this planet and, and the reverse uh engineering yeah that's the word i was looking Bruh. for and, and it seems like that they have reverse engineered this and on top they got a pattern as well on this one so i mean this is clear as day, and it says this was filed back on December 20, 2004. And if you think about it, those uh, clips that came out of the pilot commander, I believe David, uh, I'm forgetting his name, he did uh, he did a podcast with Joe Rogan as well, so you know what who I'm talking about. He was the guy that chased that UFO, and if I'm not mistaken, that footage that the the the, the government the the government released like a couple of years ago at this point, they that that was from two. 2004 as well and they released it somewhere around like 2017 2020 i'm i'm forgetting years because time has been flowing by like crazy we're in 2023 right now maybe you're watching this video in 2050 i don't know guys i don't know crazy stuff man. for anyone new or to refresh your memories as i loop this over here and play you guys some enhanced versions the tr3 black manta or Texas for version. short tr3b also known by the name tr3b astra as it's now called is perhaps either the biggest hoax that some believe or in my opinion and everything i've seen and published to this channel over the decade is the biggest it's... advance in technology in the history of mankind if not yeah. one of them it was first sighted over uh, essentially i i i do believe i the, the, the footage that we saw I, I feel like that that footage is legit but i think it's not a ufo it's uh it's one of ours and it's probably have been reverse engineered that's what i believe and i could be wrong wrong we could be wrong. wrong. We surely could be. Nobody knows. Maybe it's legit. Maybe it's like a real UFO. Or maybe it's uh, that that video is a hoax completely in CGI. Uh, but Bruh. but I believe the video is legit. But I think it was. Uh, it's one of ours. It's not a UFO. Belgium back in the 1980s early 90s and was visualized as this mysterious dark or black colored triangular shaped UFO lights on each corner sometimes not but Damn. typically did have lights and it's since been seen oh, hundreds oh, if not thousands of times whether it be here on earth or satellite pics of triangle craft lights or surface structures on other oh, planets snap. or the moon so it's said to be a craft that harnesses anti-gravity used by the U.S. government but contains and is able to do that by using back-engineered alien technology yep. that we recovered. Yep. So it's it's half ours, half alien tech. And so tell me what you guys think of this footage. I'll try to dig up some more I, I heard this conspiracy and uh, theory so much, uh, so many times, like, I... I it can be legit though like. information on it and on top what the government recently uh said like they have acquired unearthly vehicles they said they have acquired they made it sound like that they just were innocent guys come on guys like we just acquired it we were uh we're actually researching we do not know what's happening like that's bullshit okay <laughs> that is bullshit Bruh. they have had stuff like that for years i i believe in i believe in that bozo who uh i'm forgetting his name i'm forgetting bob lazar yep i'm be i believe in bob lazar Big fan, big fan. I believe in what he said. You've seen something similar, and I know Bullshit. some of you guys have because I've published a ton of your footage of it. What do you guys think? Could it be a plane 
It doesn't look like one to me. The object seems way too close, right above the trees. I don't see any FAA lights, and uh, this one's definitely a mystery. And while yeah, it's mystery. good to be a skeptic, and some out there, you know, when they see amazingly clear footage, a lot of them have the indefinite answer, well, it's it must be too good to be true. You know, mm -hmm. if a UFO video is too out of focus, or the object is too far away, then you can't win. And if it's crystal clear as day, you can't win because it's Facts. too good to be true but Facts. i think that that is a sort of uh, indoctrination that's been instilled whenever you see a footage like that people always complain why it's blurry yo we're in 2023 we gotta have better we already have better cameras we gotta get better footage but the second you see good footage everybody's like hey man that is too good to be true <laughs> We never see good footage like this one, so it must be fake. So there is like literally no winning. Either you believe it or you don't believe it. And uh, let's be real, there there are a lot of hoaxes out there too. So in our it's minds hard. over the years, and with the advent of CGI, to question anything that is captured on camera in a clear way. Uh, but that yep. is not the case. So next piece of footage I want you guys to check out, also sent to me by a viewer. This is from CJ. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Carl Johnson language yeah, brother. It's kind of hard to see now Yeah, what about that UFO that was spotted in Vegas? Whoa, what was that? What do you think it was? Yeah, very odd very odd so we got clouds here and it's moving past we got the skyline city skyline Yeah, I still see it on here. Yeah, barely Oh, that's so wild Obviously, I'm fucked up. My, my heart's beating quick right now. Bruh. Whoa. Uh, no, so something. CJ says in his email, quote, Hey, Tyler, I just wanted to share this short video with you of a UFO I caught in downtown Seattle on the 40th floor sun deck of my apartment building. I wish I would have gotten it when it was really close, but I was in oh, such snap. a state of shock. Myself and my friend both saw it. It wasn't a drone because it made no noise. Man, you're telling me it was closer to them and he could have got a better shot and he didn't because he was in shock? I mean, damn, man. And it was also oddly lit and felt mysterious in general. I posted it on my YouTube channel and it's really short, but I was curious of your thoughts, possibly after video enhancements. And so that I'm disappointed in you, CJ, but good job on getting that. That's what you guys sure, are seeing sure. here. And big thanks to CJ, CJ out of Seattle, CJ. who emailed me this on December 1st, 2022. And uh, as I did some enhancements, uh, to CJ me, the this looks sort of more like your traditional 1950s era flying saucer. But again, it's dark. And Bruh. as we all know, cell phone video in the dark, you know, it gets more grainy, distorts a bit. So this to me, it looks like a saucer at the very minimum. Could be a, a cigar also or any number of things. But what strikes uh, before you're like, Bruh. Bruh, that's not a cigar. What he means by that, it could be a cigar ship UFO. So, yeah me the most and and again Not hilarious cigar, reaction shit. by the videographer of the footage man you seem like you were having a good time uh what strikes me is the fact that the object looks almost to be sliding through the air almost with you know no wind resistance if you were to think of a hockey puck you know sliding down the ice rink and i used to play ice hockey for many many years and whistleblowers that have come out and spoken about these alien or extraterrestrial in nature craft have said that they manipulate gravity around them and when they do it instead of using the air current in our atmosphere to move in a certain direction they manipulate the gravity around the ufo which then sort of allows it to slide up or down at sort oh, of an damn. angle but that was just something that popped into my head definitely some mysterious ufo footage so if you're no, from this Seattle, one seems kind of legit you have you know any information on this send me an email secure team news at gmail.com it's Damn. down in the video description and give me your Yo, homies worldwide man got them email set up and she like that Damn, guys son. thoughts next we have a very short clip here but interesting to say the least that was sent to me on instagram and it was uploaded to an instagram okay so 
Uh, December 22nd, 2022 at 11 p.m. This is in Illinois, okay. Graham UFO page, and it was captured in Lamont, Illinois, of what I can only say looks like a very strange couple of flashes of a blue beam, or well, just watch this. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, so far I don't see it, but we bought to see it. I got what? it. Damn, son, what where'd you find this? Damn. Damn, son. It seems like that there's like a there was a UFO in the middle with the with like a portal with like a Okay, again, another um priceless bizarre. reaction. You know, you know a reaction is typically legit when the first words out of their mouth are what the f is that <laughs> you know what i mean so not a lot of information on this other than uh i don't believe the the person who captured this said it was raining or thundering or anything like that i don't hear any thunder in the footage and uh, yeah it seems like that it, it it's it's how do i say this um it seems like that it was about to abduct someone that's the, that's the vibe i'm getting it's like there's a ufo there and uh, because you have seen this sort of imagery in so many movies and so many photos that you just look at something like that and automatically you're like must be the aliens trying to abduct someone it, it feels that way you know what i'm saying that uh, we see this blue or purple beam of light uh, just appear to either come down from the sky or shoot up and you know some in the comments on the uh, instagram video said yeah well it's just it's just lightning you know but i've seen lightning yeah, and as i show you some stills here and we slow this down it's just lightning guys it's just lightning you know what i'm saying it's Bruh. nothing more this doesn't look like lightning to me yeah. even if Facts. it is lightning that's hidden behind clouds it still doesn't look like what i'm seeing in this footage here in fact it almost looks brighter closer to the ground more than it does in the sky and and we see this mystery beam of light appear a couple of times before the video ends. But, you know, I've seen these things before. I've posted videos and images of these on the channel, both taken at night and during the day. Could also be something called a sprite, which is actually a naturally occurring phenomenon of lightning that actually comes up from the ground and uh, goes up into the sky. But again, I don't know. This looks just really strange to me. So anyone over Illinois see this, feel free to add your two cents down below as well. Now, this next clip was sent to me via Ow. Gmail on November 10th of 2022. So, you know, it takes me a while to catch up to these things. And uh, he says, Yo, Ty "Tyler, really be getting old, man. It really Bruh. be getting old. It, it, it'd be like that, man. Once uh, his email must have been piled up, though. So this one is apparently after seeing a legitimate flying saucer on October 17, two days later, on the 19, a high-pitched dog whistle-type noise went off in my left ear, followed by an ear-popping sensation. Something in me told me to grab my camera and go to the uh, go to the window. I was looking out of the window and noticed a jet flying very high in the sky." Clearly, I kept looking at the sky, but noticed that there was too much light pollution. So I went and grabbed my polarized glasses. Once I put them on, this thing came into frame almost instantly. I had my phone in, a, in hand ready to record. And this is what I got. I could not see it without my polarized lenses on. Watch it in slow motion. Okay, let's In see. his email, quote, after seeing a legitimate flying saucer and go to the window, I was I looking out it. glasses. Once I put them on, this thing came. This is what I got. He says I could not see it without my polarized lenses on. Watch in slow motion to see it vanish slash pop into the cloud at the end at a considerable speed. It slows down and descends after seeming to turn. I've been avidly studying this subject for 17 years and I'm still startled by this. Mm. Okay, so he's gonna put like polarized, but what are polarized glasses? I think we better find out. I think he put it on and he sees it with that, I guess. Yeah, I need to work on my recut control because like every time a fire is go like pow, son, you know, like I gotta work on that, man. I gotta... I'm gonna work on the recall control. <laughs> Br 
Bruh. Okay, so that's night vision. I think he's putting an effect on. But it seems like a disc shape. Like a circular one. Circular. Yeah, disc shape. Just rolling 45 degree angle, kind of, right? Just going like... Like that. Kind of wild, actually. No wings, nothing, no propeller system, so, yeah, nothing. This came from a viewer via email with the initials AJZ. So if you're out there, whoever you are, thanks for this. Um, yeah, again, another mystery object. This time during the day, gliding through the sky. Does not look like a bird, a plane, Superman, a drone. I, I don't know what Yeah, it doesn't look like a John Cena either, you know what I'm saying? Like, it looks bruh. to be extremely far away, yet still pretty large in size. And as the viewer who sent this said in his email, he could only see it when wearing his glasses that had polarized lenses. And he also spoke of seeing fighter jets in the area and what appeared to be a flying saucer just mm -hmm. two days before this footage was captured. Okay, if if he is saying about if he's talking about fighter jets and they were really there around this time, yeah, so man, it's an suspect. interesting clip it that was featured by my old pal Scott Waring over at UFO Sightings Daily of a UFO sighting that occurred on December 29th. So not too long oh, ago, uh, the location was Moorhead City, oh, North oh, Carolina, of what were described as several glowing objects shooting across the sky, or what could very well have been one single object with three lights. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this was uploaded on the YouTube Shorts. Bruh, brother, brother. Yeah, seems like a massive one. Massive. Doesn't look like a... It, it has a shape of a plane just by looking at the lights, but the plane lights are not like this. So it's not a plane, what the but... hell was that? Bruh. It might be John Cena, though. You never know. Is it a plane? Is it a bird? Is it John Cena? It's probably John Cena. Totally stumped on this one, guys. Uh, I will play a slowed down version here, zoom it in a little bit, and see if we can give you a better look. And a uh, shout out to my friends out in North Carolina, which is where I go every year on vacation. A lot of UFO sightings happen in that state, so it's definitely a hub for strange activity. Yeah, kind of suspect, kind of, or not kind of, it is suspect though, like. Has two lights on the back by the looks of it. And it's going straight, not moving, but what could it be though, what could it be? The, the biggest, I feel like the All right, biggest so sighting. Here is a clip that was posted to either TikTok or Instagram. Not a lot of information captured in Colorado of this long, glowing, or highly reflective cigar shaped object quietly moving through the night skies. Man, it is thin as hell, bro. It is thin as hell, but you still see it. It is as though. It's the object really wide to the point where it's that easy to uh, to see at night time, or or is it like light reflecting on it? So that's why it's become it, it's easier to see. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay, so first thing some of you may want to claim, as many do these days, is hey, it's Starlink, all right? It's Elon Musk, it's Starlink. Yeah. Sadly, uh, a lot of people today, and uh, you know, I discussed this in a very recent video, but lots of people now, it's like anytime you see a UFO or a piece of UFO footage where there are more than one object or they appear in sort of a straightish line, then it must be Starlink. And this is simply not the case. In fact, I think the U.S. government has used Starlink, whether Elon Musk knows it or not, as a way to clutter up the skies, to clutter up space, and to confuse the public. 
basically just a bunch of little tiny satellites that are all launched one after another that create this sort of you know yeah. dotted line up in space as they are launched and passed by but there is definitely some separation between them and i'm not seeing that here whatever this is thank you for subscribing if you're brand new hit the subscribe bell that must be on my main channel but if you're here on the second definitely subscribe man and hit the homie security team up as well but but realistically i do think that they do stuff to deceive the 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 the, the people people for sure because there's a lot a whole lot of activity there's I, like i believe it if you're watching this to a certain extent you probably believe it as well especially if you're this deep into this video you probably believe in the subject or you're just fascinated by the topic like i am as well and, and i do think that they play around they do some stuff to confuse the public for sure so when you get to see a real one you're like eh, is it real is it not real because even i'm questioning that and if you're watching you're probably questioning that too right because like is this one real is it a hoax is it fake you're questioning that and it's good to question but it's like yeah man what's real and what's not it's uh th that that's the it's it kind, looks it's quite like hard, a quite pretty hard. solid object it looks to be emitting light and if you look at the back of it it looks like we have one cylinder what? shaped craft or object and then at the end a single separate object tagging along behind it or possibly right. attached but just something much smaller and it just doesn't give me the feel of starlink satellites Whatever this yeah. is, it looks to hold its shape. It's extremely bright. Uh, there doesn't look to be any city lights down below. Uh, okay, so yeah. it could be glowing internally, could be very reflective, who knows. But my opinion on this, not Starlink. Captured on December 17th above Cannon, Colorado. Which, by the way, I have heard that there are some pretty serious military uh, installations and bases right around that area. So there's mm. that. And lastly today guys, here is one last piece of footage viewer submitted to the secure LA. team Gmail where the viewer who goes in the email by the name of Rocky says, quote, I was able to get video footage of two UFO craft hovering in Los Angeles. I was out on my front yard walking my two dogs while I noticed two orangish or reddish lights just hovering. This airspace is usually restricted. Okay, so this one and that one, right? with planes because the airport is just a few miles north of here. I oh. ran inside and grabbed my phone and the lights started rotating around each other, creating rainbow-like colors. After my video recording, the lights just vanished. And so, not a lot to say about this one other than because these glowing objects are, you know, so far away, we can't really discern them, but the only thing I will bring up here is that if you notice towards the end of the footage, a helicopter suddenly enters the frame and looks to be heading in the exact direction of these two mystery objects, which is uh, reminiscent again of past footage I've featured that I've seen, you know, where some of these UFOs will hang around just long enough where the attention of the police or whoever will be garnered and sometimes they're fast enough to get you know airplanes Closer but especially it, yeah. helicopters in the area to track these things it is la so i'm sure other people may have seen this could it be a uh, typical aircraft you know planes heading toward the airport uh, very well could be but when I look at footage, no matter who or where it's from, I always take into consideration that the person who's recording it, they are from this area. They yeah. probably look at the night sky almost every single night. They know what activity is there. They know what aircraft look like when they fly by. They know what's normal and what's not normal. And yeah, so and whenever like something strange pops out, it, it pops out like a sore thumb and you're like, okay, what what the hell is that? You know? So when they see something that they're not used to and they record it and send it in, I definitely take that into consideration. So Yeah, I ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen or the video on the left, either one, and I will see you right there. Subscribe.